So I just received my Raspberry Pi original touchscreen and wanted to make a short video guide on how to set it up and get started. So these are the things that you will need in order to get started using the, the touchscreen. You will of course need the uh, Raspberry Pi 7 inch touchscreen. And you will of course need the Raspberry Pi, you can use them 3 or 2. And you will need a micro SD card pre-formatted with Raspberry and the latest version. You will need a power supply cable. This one will connect from the power out from the screen to the power in from the Raspberry Pi. And we want to have a cable to connect the screen to the Raspberry Pi. This one comes along in the box for the screen. And we will need one last power supply, which is the one that will power the monitor and in turn the Raspberry Pi. This one comes with uh, multiple country adapters, so you can use it wherever you want to. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, you will need to um, put in the micro SD cards into the Raspberry Pi. Just slide it in as usually. And then we want to connect up the touchscreen to the Raspberry Pi. This is done with the cable that comes in the box. It's the same type of cable that is used for the Raspberry Pi camera. Just uh, have the metallic connectors point upwards like this and slide it to the back of the socket. Once it's there, you can push the parts on the side of the plug. You just have to push a bit hard maybe until they click in place. And it should be firmly connected so you can't pull it out again that easily. Now for the other end, you needed to connect it to the end connector by the top of the SD card, so right on top of the SD card. The other, that's the only one that will work, the other one will only work for the Raspberry Pi camera. So you just uh, slide out the socket and put it right to the hits the bottom, and then you click in the sides again. This is a bit easier than the other socket, and it should be firmly connected. Okay, we put this on the side. And we power it up. So let's see, we need a power cable. This is the power for the Raspberry Pi. And we can draw power from the output of the display to the input of the Raspberry Pi. We'll do that in this case. You could also power it with an external power supply. This doesn't make any difference. Okay. Now finally we need to power up the display. That is done with a standard adapter. So we just Plug in your normal Raspberry Pi adapter, it needs to be at least 2 ampere. And you connect the other end to the socket, we'll just flip this over first. Okay, so, see if we can position it so you can see everything on the screen, there we go. Now for the end here, I could just put in the adapter that fits for your country, so I'm in Europe, so I'll put in the European adapter. And it slides into place, and if I just put this into the socket of the outlet here, then we should see everything power up. And there we go. So you can see there's uh, power on the Raspberry Pi, and you can see this is the Raspberry Pi 3 because it has these four cores. And you can actually see in the top corner here that it's not sufficient power. This is only 2 ampere, so maybe you should go for 2.5 amperes to get sufficient. But, uh, but for this we'll just manage. So we have it running very easily. Your touch screen is working. It's capacitive touch, so it's uh, just like your smartphone. No need to press any hard, hard uh, presses. And you can launch everything. We can open Writer, as an example. But the screen is very bright, very nice, and uh, could be useful for a lot of nice projects. Thank you for watching.